गाइज डू यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न हाउ टू इंस्टॉल पोस्ट ग्रेस एस क्यू एल और पोस्ट ग्रे सी क्यू एल ऑन योर सिस्टम सो दिस वीडियो इज फॉर यू हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी शोइंग यू कंप्लीट इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ पोस्ट ग्रे एस क्यू एल ऑल्सो गाइज आई विल बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू यूज इट सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो गाइज यू कैन ओपन एनी ऑफ योर फेवरेट ब्राउजर एंड जस्ट सर्च फॉर पोस्ट ग्रेस स्क्यूल डाउनलोड एंड हियर यू कैन सी द ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट you need to just click on this download link and guys it will redirect you to download page of this and here you can see we have different downloads available based on the operating system so whatever operating system you have based on that you can select i'm having windows operating system so i'm going to simply select this windows option so guys it will redirect me to this option and here you can see we have different uh, downloads available so for that we need to click on this download the installer so guys it will uh, redirect you to this page edb page and here you can see we have post grace sql versions available and right now this is the latest version we are having and i'm going to install it for windows 64 so i'm selecting this option and i'm clicking on this button so guys you can see my download is completed so i'm going to close my browser so guys you can see my download is done here i'm going to click on this exe and i'm going to close my browser guys here you can see the setup has been started you need to click on next button this is the installation directory where your software will be installed if you wish to change you can click on this folder option and you can change right now i'm keeping default and i'm going to click on this button next button so guys here you can see we have different components available post gresql server pg admin stack builder and command line tools pg admin 4 provides you gui you, where you can uh, create your table databases everything you can do so i'm installing all this i'm just clicking on next button and guys this is the data directory where your data base will be saved just click on next button and here guys you need to provide password so you can provide any password but do remember this password because when we want to use pg admin 4 then that time we require this password so guys now here i'm providing any password and clicking on next button and this is a port number 5432 is the default port number for postgre sql okay so i'm not changing it i'm keeping it default guys and i'm clicking on next button and now here guys it's showing me some advanced option local so i'm taking default local you can just see what options we are having and just click on next button and again guys here you need to click on next button once again and then you can see the installation has been started guys it will take a while so we will wait for it so guys the installation is done now here it's showing me this screen completing the postgresql setup so guys here we have one checkbox where it is showing me some uh, additional tools which will be installed uh, do not do anything just click on finish button and here you can see in drop down we have option of our postgre sql whichever we have installed so just select it and if you click on next button it will start downloading the additional stack builder tools or component so i don't want to install that so guys i'm simply clicking on this can cell button okay guys so installation is done now i'm going to show you how to use this database so for that i'm going to this windows search and here i'm simply typing pg admin and you can see this option just open this option guys and now here you can see this welcome screen it is showing and now we want to connect with our database so for that we have to just go to this uh, left side and here we have option search Server. just expand it guys and it will ask you to connect to the server for that you need to provide the password which you gave during installation so here i type my password and you can see guys the connection is done successfully it's showing me dashboard and here you can see it's showing me postgre sql and my version 
and here I'm having database default database is available I will be showing you how to create your own database so as you can see in database we have various options available okay so now my next step is what how to create database so just select this database and right click and there is option create and database so you provide your database name whatever name you want to provide so here I'm giving database name as demo DB and now guys I'm clicking on this SQL button to show you what SQL we are having what SQL query has been generated so just click on this SQL button and you can see this is the query which has been generated so everything looks perfect I'm going to simply click on this save button and you can see guys as soon as the save is done here my demo db is created right so under database now we are having two database one is the default another is the one which we created okay so in demo db we have various options available so let's go to this option schemas option so guys using this schema you can create procedure you can create function you can create views you can create table whatever you want you can do that so i'm just expanding this schema and guys here we have table option so guys i would like to show you how to create table in your database so for that if you right click there is option of creating table so i'm not going to show you that part you can try that option so what i will do i will show you through script so for that guys you need to just go to your uh, database and you need to select the option create script and guys you can see here the script window is open now here it's already showing me certain script that is database script below that you write whatever script you want to write so scripts are nothing but your query so i'm writing uh, create table query so create table students and in that i'm just taking column as a roll number data type as integer comma my uh, second column that is name column data type var care and size i'm giving as 30 and i'm just closing this parenthesis so this script is done guys now let's run this so select your query and just hit this play button guys and you can see it's showing me successfully done and now again you can go to left side and here you can just refresh this tables by right clicking and here is the option of refresh so let me just refresh it and you can see guys under table i'm getting my students table okay and just expand it you can see there is a column option so i'm getting column options also and these are my column that is roll number and name so guys this way you can install postgresql on your system and you can create your database you can write whatever query you want here or you can do through right click also so i hope guys by following my video you are able to successfully create your first database using postgresql so guys if my video are really helping you don't forget to hit on like button and if you have any query you can put in comment box or guys you can connect me on my instagram also you can send me your query there also but before that follow me otherwise your query will not receive to me and guys share my video to your friends so that they also get benefited with this video and guys very important for me is your subscription if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications from my channel guys i'm having other channel code with sunita there i'm teaching coding in hindi if you are interested in that you can subscribe that channel also thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye take care keep watching and keep learning guys